dangerously and illegally. Mom, Mom, wake up! Y'all are new! Y'all are new! What? Y'all are new! Atlanta police say they've made a significant arrest in the case and taken a man named Edward Miller into custody. Investigators say Miller is an organizer of these illegal rides. And Fox 5 Morris Diggs is live in northeast Atlanta tonight. And Morris police tell you that this one arrest actually prevented a planned ride. Well, they describe it as being proactive. They put some heat on one of the organizers when they checked his background and found out he had some outstanding warrants. So when he was put in handcuffs. This is the part that I don't get. When they put you in handcuffs, the planned ride didn't happen. He plays inside an arena. I just went out on you. Why when they put you in handcuffs, it stopped it from happening? What's going on, Zoe? I thought you said this was me. I don't so people that just kept coming and coming. I expect people, you know, to complain. Hell, if you was riding out front of my house today, I would complain. So I get it. I get for this young lady or, you know, this grown woman to call in and complain. But what I don't get is it sound like Edward is helping them. That's what it sound like. To the high places could watch the spectacle from a safe distance, but on the ground it's not safe for any pedestrians like this person trying to cross Peachtree. APD's Jeff Glazier is in charge of mapping a strategy to stop the Rough Riders. Impossible yet once they've begun, but the deputy chief... This is exactly what I'm saying. You cannot be having motorcycles, four-wheelers, cars, downtown and but back to the clip we have targeted organizers and in fact uh, a future event that didn't take place was because we were proactive and we were to put one of the organizers in jail when edward miller was taken off the street that planned sunday ride did not happen but there are other organizers so apd must get ready for the next sunday ride it may have all that's the problem i had the fact that they saying there's other organizers. They grabbed you, now they talk about other organizers. Bro. And then the Edward N Miller name to me at first, I'm just waking up, give me a time to gather my thoughts, man. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're okay. fine, when you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they just never understand. Okay, guys. okay, I don't know what's up, but I post a screenshot none of that. It said on May 19th, approximately at uh, 2320 hours, Officer Hernandez and I conducted an invest in interrogation with yeah. Mr. Edward Miller's date of birth. Uh, four, six, while speaking with Mr. Miller, he identified Mr. Parham as a photo as Chino. I have attached to these pictures with these notes. He stated that Chino is a male with dreads and that he was riding a white dirt bike today. Upon further investigation, Edward Miller, with the help of Zone 6, CID investigations, they were able to have Mr. Miller identify the dark-skinned black male with dreadlocks as Chino. Chino has an Instagram account under the name of I'm the Chosen One. How the f they know that? Edward Miller has, has uh, also been arrested multiple times over the offense of street racing. Organizer Edward has a pending felony charge for selling a motorcycle with a flip man. Edward Miller had also stated on BWC that T.I. is his cousin. And he called him to bring the group of dirt bikes out to ATVs to a video shoot. What? Come on, man. I had to pull up on my dog. Right, it's on. only right. Yeah. Hey, yo, you know a nigga named Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are everybody laughing when I'm asking? I'm dead serious. Hey, yo. Do you know a nigga named Edward? Nah, cause I, I gotta tell you this story. Hold on, I gotta tell you the story. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me and you got pulled over. We got chased. Remember, we was driving the 450s. Yeah. I popped the wheelie in front of the police. Right. When I popped the wheelie in front of the police, they turned the lights on. They turned the lights on. Remember, we just kept driving straight. We made the right. Made the right. We ain't know where the we was at, but we was by my house somewhere. No my old house. No so we made the right. You went straight. I made another right. So right. he kind of came in and like boxed me in. I gave up. I was like. It's not, it's raining. Yep. You know, I froze up. I'm a man. I froze up type shit. He was like, fuck. Up. I look back, I see him buck a right. I kept going. He kept going. Man, got around the corner. Other police come, try to cut me off, bust him up. So he wasn't lying when he said it was, because the police told me, he was like, yeah, who's your buddy? Man, I'm at the gas station. He was like, call your buddy back here. I was like, I don't know who the f 
gas station. He is. I met him at the gas station. They chased me all the way to the highway. So they really, he, he told me he had people chasing you. He's like, they we're really, gonna catch him. They really chased me all the way to the highway. I got to the highway, busted him up, got to the highway, jumped on the highway, went straight to the gas station on Camp Creek. And then I, don't know, I got a call from you, like, I like, it had to be like a good 30, 40 minutes later. Yeah, because they ran my name, they yeah. ran the bike, they like, ran the tags, they called Aiden, asked him for permission to ride the bike. Yeah. And they let me go. When they let me go, that's when I called you. It was like, yo, where you at? Yeah, you're like, where you at? I'm like, bro, I'm at the gas and you like, nigga, go home. Mind you, it's Georgia State Patrol, nigga. GSP. <laughs> that's what I'm like, nigga, go the f home, nigga. GSP. They yeah. had to bust them up. Then when I jumped on, it started raining. Jumped on the highway. In the I'm, rain. So you had to ride what? It was like 20, 30 minutes? Hell yeah. Because we was in... We was like in downtown. I went to Camp Yeah, Creek. we was on our way downtown. Yeah, yeah, I went to Camp Creek. So then... I was like, damn, I don't know if I got no gas to make it home. So I stopped at the gas station, filled up. Mind you, this nigga is in a fucking <laughs> wheelchair. Yeah. So I, my nerves is ranked because, you know, I'm not as big. This nigga can ride better than me, regular. Dirt wheelies, I fuck him up. But regular, he can ride better than me. But any of you, I think, I'm not his babysitter or nothing, but this nigga, like, this my yeah. brother. So I'm worried for him, like, yo, if this nigga foul spun out, it's raining. He got fucking super motor tires, like, belly tires. <laughs> I'm like, man, if this nigga tip over, he caught, but the whole time he got away. The only reason I bring that up is because this nigga... You could have told. I ain't gonna lie. They, get, they had you. You could have told. Well, but wait, is that the right thing to do, though? I don't know. Because I, I got caught. You didn't get caught. Yeah, you I said, know. I never did that again. I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> Brothers or not. Brothers or not. You call back. Oh, no, bro. We ain't doing that no more. The nigga Edward... When he get caught, he get put in the same situation, he get caught and tell who got away. That's diabolical. That's diabolical. <laughs> more of the story, bro. Don't tell. Don't <laughs> never rat. Don't never be master splinter. That's the moral of the story. Illegal rides. Who the fuck is that one? More sticks. So you know who ever played. I promise you went back. That's fruit. Street. Told you. Planned Sunday ride did not happen. Damn, fruit land that one. Yes, nigga. Told you, nigga. So me and Derek about to go to the ride. We're done. This the bike we was riding when he was getting chased. Look at that. We're good now. Fuck the ride and have some fun. At the end of the day, if you out here riding the bikes, because it could be Surrounds too. You know Surrounds are legal too. They not legal. You could be on Surrounds, you could be on anything, bro. If you get chased, don't tell on your homeboy. If you the one that got caught, you got caught. Like, how fair is it? Like, you taking somebody away from their family because you got caught. Come on, bro. It's called cops and robbers. Not catch one, catch all. Y'all see the time? It's 3.35 a.m. You know what I'm saying? We on some shit where we ride until the sun come up. UD. That's how we starting the situation off. We gonna imagine city on these motherfuckers. You heard me. No, you been taking all the like you did last time. I mean, man. Magic City on these motherfuckers, you hear me? That was too many big cars, we gotta go back. They got Rolls Royces out front, they got all types of big shit out front. No niggas in there spending that paper. Big shit, big shit. Oh, nah. All right, fuck it. We might as well go to Mercedes Benz Stadium. Everybody like frozen. Damn, you frozen over that bitch. Yeah, I know. Oh, come on, Derry. Definitely gonna get lost tonight. I guarantee we want to pull our GPS out. I guarantee. My camera on, ain't it? Huh? Camera on? Yeah, my headphones are fucking up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You said your headphones fucking up? It's falling off. It's I said, I was just saying, I was like, I guarantee we're gonna get lost tonight. We're gonna have to pull our GPS out in like 15 minutes. Hell yeah. I'm trying to go to the city. I'm trying to see what this shit is for. It's so much better riding at night. I know people probably prefer riding dead day, but me, I'm going to ride at night. This man is on the exit. He has a wheelchair, goddammit. Go ahead. Do your thing. Nah, you gotta lean back. Yeah. Ah, hold on. Yeah. 
Yeah, when we did Bad Boys, this was the bridge that we flew in on right here. Jump that that that's big ass scene. Ah, I'm getting freaky on these bitches. I'm getting freaky on these bitches. All right, we're gonna stop it. Like I told y'all, I got oh, 10 minutes on here. Okay, I got 10 minutes on here. Nigga trying to stop already. See, we ain't been around for 10 minutes yet. He already trying to stop. See, yeah, all right. I ain't stopping yet now. Right. Go right. We trying to go. Uh, we trying to go under it. Huh? Go over here first. Ah, I supposed to made that. Ah. 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> hey yo! Hold up. They out here getting tore up. That's crazy. Can we take a picture? Huh? He thought it up. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh shit! Oh shit! Do it again, do it again. <laughs> Fucking cone head. Yo, what is going on down here? I need more power, definitely. Definitely gonna get some power upgrades now. Now that I'm starting to ride this, uh, start to ride this more often. And I'm definitely gonna do some power upgrades. Gotcha. Fucking uh, anime, anime. I want to because I hate. I don't hate it. It had to be like a concert or something. I try to stay together when we down here. Try to stay together when we go down here. Pop on the curb. You ain't got it, turkey. Turkey. Don't do it. Don't take the pressure. Come on, turn around. We're going back out this way. All right, we trying to leave out now, man. I got lost. This way? We came in this way, I thought. We came in this way. Which way you want me to go? This way or that way? All right. Thank you. Thank you. This nigga Darius always on this shit. This nigga Darius is right again. <laughs> He always on this shit, man. This nigga's ready to get out of there. I said we're gonna play the 50 with him. We got we slow today. We ain't doing full 50. Yeah, we're gonna hit him with agility, you hear me? I was gonna tell him Edward and we was gonna be good. All we had to say is Edward, they would have let us go, bro. I'm telling you, I did it before. I did it before. Oh, oh, made the right turn, huh? Police. 
Yeah, definitely. There's too many parks and shit. Oh, this nigga keep riding scary, yo. Come up here. Nah, Max, come on. We ain't stopping right here. Stay on the move, man. We only been riding for 10 minutes. The GoPro still on? Yeah. So evidently, we ain't been riding for 15 minutes yet. All I had is 15 minutes in the battery. And you already trying to stop. I, I'm just trying to adjust real quick. Adjust what? Take these headphones off and put them in the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you need that. It's not worried about wheeling as much as you need that. Nigga, come on. I am not trying to stop 50 times. I'm trying to ride. I ain't been riding 10 minutes yet. Nah. Come on, stay up. Look, there's a big hill. You got this. You got this. Just... Ah. I try to put my leg over there. Look, tap the brake. Use the brake as like a clutch. Make a left up here at the light. This nigga, man. Start getting the vibe. I know we ready to get from down here. Fuck you turn. Turn around. Oh, wait, wait. Go ahead then. Like, how are the homeless people, man? Damn. How are the homeless people, bro? Young boy. Sad, man. Make a right. Young is a bitch. The one with no shirt on. Sad, bro. 15. 16. The truck up with heavy metal. Making it right at the light. Oh. I keep wanting to run lights. Surface the wheelie on. Uh, damn, why are so many scooters right here? It's dead, dead. 
I said so many scooters right there. I said it's dead, dead out this bitch. I think we're gonna go this way. Yeah, this way. Those are lights. Pull your mask. This shit fire. I wouldn't want to live on the boardwalk. This shit loud as shit. Yeah, I couldn't live on the boardwalk, right? What the fuck is the purpose of that? And then you probably complain all day. You know what you was getting into. So, all right? Ah, smoke that shit, boy. What is he talking about? Smoke this shit. Then Willie has to do it. You heard me. This is so far. This shit. Hey bro, this shit fire, bro. You drunk all that? You drunk all that? Yo, damn, we like to go out. You be dead. Yeah, I'm dead. God bless you, bro. Damn, you be dead. Money morning. Huh? What's today? Friday, uh, Sunday. Today, Sunday. God bless you, brother. I'm gonna do that homeless giveaway, bro. I got to. I said I'm gonna do a homeless giveaway. I got to, bro. Yeah. He ain't used to that. He ain't, that's motor cross. He used to doing like this, getting close. He ain't used to wheeling and close. You been fighting and shit, I don't know how y'all do it, though. The whole shot? I can't you know, imagine. Yeah. Especially you doing a whole shot with a with Bro, I lean over you on a nigga like <laughs> 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 Yo, his whole shot was probably crazy. Hell oh, yeah, that's why they ain't like it. <laughs> Get like that. Get like that. Get like that. Go ahead, do it again, brother. Do it again, do it again. I gotta get the shot. Oh, okay. The hill is the cheat code, though. He know that. The hill is a straight cheat code. Slow up, slow up. You're going too fast. Right back up, back up. Teach this nigga how to pack ride because he's so used to the dirt. This nigga always back, he always too forward. He has no proper pack etiquette. Nah, man, you gotta stop. You gotta ride with me and stop riding all the way back there. You go to zero miles per hour and clutch up. And we did 24 hours on the Suron downtown Atlanta. Two handicapped niggas, man. Look at that pack drop. Hospital. That's what it should have took me when I lost my leg. I'd have probably still hit my leg. We've made it. We've made it. We fucking did it. 24 hours on Saron, man. It's over, man. What else do y'all want? First ones to do it in Atlanta. I think first ones to ever do it, period. 24 hours on Saron, all through Atlanta. We went everywhere. It's not a place you, we didn't go. We passed so many police, bro. Endless. Not one fuck with it. Not one. All on the show is love. We to put it to the test. We literally rode from the night to the dead. I never did this on dirt bikes. Let me know, tap in. You could do this on dirt bikes, kids. Probably could do it in my city, but my city is so small, it's not fun. Baltimore is small, so it's like, it get boring quick. We roll all down there, everywhere around it. All down there. We really outside, bro. At the end of the day, man, bikes really do bring bonds, man. Without a dirt bike, I would not know there is. Without a dirt bike, I wouldn't know a lot of people, you know what I mean? So bikes do bring bonds, and, you know, just own up to your charges, man. If you ever get put in a situation, that you put yourself in because when you jump on these bikes it's by your decision nobody's forcing you to 
never seen nobody got forced to pop wheelies in the street. Like, forced. Like, you gonna pop some wheelies. I've never seen that. So at the end of the day, you're not forced to do anything. So take your charge. There's no way. If me and Darius had to get bust him up today, you know what I'm saying? I got away. He got caught. I know you owe me now. That's a, also a lesson, though, people need to learn. You don't know who you riding with. You don't know who you riding with. So you need to learn who you ride with. The smaller packs, bro. So all these big packs is not necessary. You don't know who's who. I could be beefing with a nigga. I'm riding with the pack. The nigga I see beefing with me, we thousand deep. What you think? What's going to happen? What you think? Honestly. So you got to, you got to, you got to kind of be smart, man. Look at this shit, man. Georgia, Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. Downtown Atlanta is not like downtown Baltimore. Downtown Baltimore is clean, it's nice, homeless people, none of that. This downtown, I learned when we shooting bad boys, that's when I learned like, oh, this downtown trash. Like, yo, I, it was so much homeless people, bro. When we rolled past that little 16 year old, we started the ride out, started the ride, shit. We started the ride like that, man. Every ride is not a ride out, too. I don't, I don't know why people think everything is a and y'all don't jack my family pants, please. Y'all don't hate me. What do you say? Passionate for lack of play. Passionate for things you say. Passionate for my family.
Burn it back up. Wait till you're here. Hold on, hold on. You fucking me up. Crazy how many homeless people out here, bro. I'm telling y'all, ain't nobody down here. It's a bank. They ain't having it. <laughs> Get the fuck up. <laughs> Yo. But I was saying, listen, I know this probably gonna sound reckless, right? And this is hypothetically speaking. If I was a bank robber, right? I'm just hypothetically speaking. If I was a bank robber, I would rob a bank on a Sharon. You give me a 72 volt and I'm out of here. <laughs> Can't do this on the third bike. Look at the size of that building. Look at the size of that building, bro. I would love to see how that top floor is. That top floor is crazy, you hear me? I'm trying to force him to get a sir on. That's it. I ain't trying to be a bad brother. I'm just trying to force him to get a sir on. I think, I think it's working. I think it's working. Look at it. <laughs> Every day, like, even by yourself, like, you just, I'm stressed real fast. Let me jump on this bitch. That's what I do. I just go around the neighborhood. Now I'm ready to start coming down here. Much fun though, my tie. Oh, 
fucking him up. I'm tired of fucking him up. Nigga, all right, come on. Give me a 10 second real quick. We can really turn into a challenge. Let me get a 10 second wheelie. And we doing Mississippi's. Downhill too? Oh, he do not got it. Go, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. Eight? Look how fast we going. No, I don't hold on, wait, my turn. Come on next to me and count, buddy. And it's in low mode too, just to, by the way. Turn around, we gotta go back. Damn, like that. Nigga, I got fucking 18%. Oh, we go. Come on, man. Right. We gotta stay like local. I'm trying. Uh-uh. Come on, man.